Grand Rising. Welcome to Healing Hype Man. Message of the day. I just want to take a moment to thank everybody that um, that has joined our tribe here. Uh, we've had some some new followers over the weekend, and truly appreciate you guys liking, sharing, and commenting. Really, you know, I'm all about engagement here on Healing Hype Man. We were, we were guided to meet in some sort of way. Um, I talk about different and weird things. I read tarot differently. There's positive words of affirmation mixed with empowering readings, right? So there's some aspect here that you were guided to. There was something here that you liked. So I hope you stick around. Feel free to engage. Uh, comments. I really like seeing comments and, 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 and I try my best. And I really do actually respond to all of them or at least acknowledge all of them. And if you like it and you comment in, I promise you that the more readings I do, your I will pick up on your energy, and it re and it might resonate with you more. Um, you know, more than just an emoji. An emoji is great, you know, but that's the lazy. You know, make a meaningful comment to the post uh, if you have the time to watch them. Of course, not every reading is going to be for you, but you know that's really the engagement. I like my community small. Right? I don't want to make it big because I like. The small-minded, the 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 small the small group that we have here. Um, it allows me to focus more on you know on, on us instead of the, the the general public and be very vague. And you know I don't like vague tarot. I don't like that shit. So let's kind of dive in here. I'm gonna pull nine cards. Ace of Cups to see your energy. Wow, there's some new offers coming in, and this is actually a pretty big deal. Let's see what your challenge might be. Seven of Cups, the Star. Eight of Cups, and what you don't see coming is the Sun, the Cherry, wow. Okay. Let me just pull everything here. Listen, so your energy is really telling me compromise. Message of the day. Ace of Cups, Eight of Wands, Ten of Wands. This really tells me here that there's there's some new shit coming in your life and it's gonna come pretty quickly and it's gonna be a big deal. For some of you, it's a love offer, it's a love opportunity that's coming your way. Um, it's just things that emotionally fulfill you. There's literally a, like someone either wants to give you an offer. I feel like it's someone giving it to you because it's pointing outward. So you're receiving, oh, oh, in some senses you might be actually giving. It's pointing outward so you're out, outside of your energy. So there might be someone that's just coming in hot, pretty quick, might get a message or a DM in some sort of way because it's a love component and it's actually a big deal. Like, like in some senses, for some of you, this might be a completion to a love cycle, a love, a love uh, uh, maybe you've been waiting for love for a long time, maybe you've been hoping for something that's a big deal that holds more weight in your life and I feel like there is something here that's gonna, that holds a lot of weight that's coming in. Um, in some sense, some of you, I really feel like, especially with in your challenge position, I feel like you might not even know how to receive, right? Because in your challenge, you have seven of cups, the star, and eight of cups. It's like, okay, seven, you're looking at your choices. You have a wish fulfillment. You have an idea of what this person, this idea, this, this wish fulfillment might be, right? For some of you, it could be like a job or just like something that you want to accomplish in your life. And you have been going and like, it's like you're getting what you asked for, right? Um, and some of you might, the star card, it's like you might not even, your challenge, in your challenge position, you might not even realize, you might not even be able to understand like, oh my God, this is a wish fulfillment that actually came in. Um, Right? Finding that missing cup, and I think that you're, that that missing cup is, is, is being presented to you. Um, for some of you, you might have so many options that you're not sure which one is real and which one is not. Keep in mind here, question to ask yourself is, which one of these options is brand new? Which one of these options feels like a wish fulfillment? And which one of these options feels like it's, it's, it's adding to your life, right? That missing cup that you went searching for, right? So what, where, what I'm trying to say with this is, is it something that, you, that you've had before? Does it feel like it's something you've had before? It's probably not the one, right? That's for those of you that, have a lot of, that are gonna have a lot of options and choices, and it very well can be love. Um, I did pull out this because I wanted the Island Love deck. Let's, I wanna see what, mirror. Ooh, you're mirroring each other. 
So this this really could tell me that this uh, there's a there's some introspection here. This could be someone that's coming your way that's literally mirroring you. So if you're vibing at that frequency, I'm gonna go there. You're about to meet someone or something or a situation opportunity. Very well, it can be an opportunity that's coming into you that is matching your frequency. You put what you put out is what you will receive. And I want to caveat on that. If you are in a space of fear and loneliness and depression and and we're still working on ourselves and this person comes in, they're mirroring your energy. Work with that. Right? I think we can work with that. As long as you don't have a high expectation that this is going to be my end all be all. No, there is there is some healing to be done here. There is something there that someone is being presented to you at whatever level you're at, there's a mirror component here. They're trying to show you something about yourself. What you don't see coming is the sun, the chariot, and the nine of swords. What you don't see coming is happiness. What you don't see coming is something that you've been working hard and going after. What, what you don't see coming is like, I think it's going to be like, like it's, it's releasing your mind. It's like something that you haven't even expected to come your way that it might be unbelievable you might be like this is this is not realistic this is actually causing me more anxiety and more stress because it's everything i could have asked for um like you might be tricking your mind it might even like trick your mind that oh i don't know if this is is this real life right because these are two very positive cards you know happiness joy Fulfillment, going after what you want. Cancer energy, Leo energy. It's very vibrant. It's very summer. Maybe this is a summer fling because this is very two summer cards here. Um, it could be a summer fling, and maybe that might be why the why the mirror component is here. Because if you're comfortable with where you're at, and you would marry yourself right now, then that's the type of person you're going to meet. But if you understand to your if you if you have already internalized. A, which is introspection on here as well, that you that there are some things that you want to work on yourself. This might be a person, place, or an opportunity that comes in the season of summer that is going to help you heal that, that is going to help you look internally and really understand what, what it is about yourself that you're trying, that you think is not at that level, right? Um, yes. Take this as an opportunity. Whatever situation comes in your way that quickly, really just look at it as a mirror, right? I'm, I'm big on don't put high expectations on things. And, and if that's the biggest piece of advice that I can give you is like expect the unexpected always and every time, right? If you're already future predicting what your, your wedding's going to look like and your vacation to you know, Jamaica, it's like you're in the wrong place whatever this wish fulfillment might be. From the Osho Zen, we have compromise and suppression. Uh, typically I pull these as guidance here. And you notice how there's two people here, right? Mirror aspect, mirror component. There might be things about yourself and I like how like their, their hands are touching at the bottom, right? So there's an aspect here that <laughs> And suppression here. I think that you're going to realize something. This, this, whoever this is coming in your way, whatever opportunity this is coming your way, and if you're resonating with this, maybe you're sitting in this. There is definitely a component here where it's asking you to really look at yourself at what you have been suppressing in your life. Um, you might have to compromise with yourself. I think you'll have some realizations and some aha moments here when any situation might come your way. For some of you, it very well can be a Cancer or a Leo that's coming in or an Aquarius or just embodying that type of energy. And that's big energy. Aquarius in the spotlight. Leo, <laughs> Leo, right? They're like, they shine bright. And a Cancer, like you can't get better than a Cancer, not gonna lie. If you find an emotionally stable Cancer, that is your baby daddy and your husband and your wife for life, right? That, that energy. And like at the same time, they're very popular and in the scene and in the spotlight, like it's a big deal. Uh, they see things on like, like the Aquarius energy really is popular. And so is the Leo energy. Very popular, emotionally stable person here. 
Uh, and maybe that's just a vibe. Let me go back to self, right? Maybe this could be a message for self. Hey, guess what? You're about to receive that energy. Like this is energy, right? So it might not be a physical person if you've made it this long through the 10 minutes and you're getting to this point and you just wanted to listen. Now the message is for you. This is big boss energy. This is stable energy. This is this is confident energy. This is this is you've been doing the work. You've been you've been deciphering the challenging part is like what are my options? What are my choices in life? And you're trying to search for that missing cup, looking at that wish fulfillment, and what you don't see coming is like everything is actually going to be okay. Like what you might have thought in your mind might not be what it actually will be in reality. Um, There is something here the universe wants you to see with mirror. Whether it's a relationship, whether it's a self-image, whether you're introspect, whether there's, there's some introspection that you need to do here, or reflecting on our wounds, right? There is an opportunity, person, place, or thing that is coming your way that is going to show you something about yourself. Clear away old energies from the wisdom of Hafiz, and I really feel like with this compromise and suppression, and the way that this mirror energy is, I think that this person, place, or thing, or opportunity that you're that I'm reading here for whoever this is, it is helping you clear away old energies, but it's asking you to look at something, look at yourself. Big component of looking at yourself through a opportunity, through a person, through a situation, which is why I say don't have high expectations for everything that you go through because it's not always supposed to be in your life forever. It's just supposed to be a moment or a lesson or an opportunity for you to see and then you move on from it. Don't cling yourself onto everything that comes into your life. I'm talking about job, I'm talking about where you live, I'm talking about the things, the people that come into your life, the relationships that you build. S stop trying to glue them to you. They're not every single person is meant to be with you forever. My name is Alvin Catalan. I am present. I'm done speaking now.